Oh, what is up, guys? Extreme Designs here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this um, Laurel's logo design. Um, and this is basically how you do this. I'm gonna show you how to do this. For examples, I can show you it's here. These are more complicated Laurels um, from Anonymous. Uh, hope I don't get hacked after this, but uh, yeah. Uh, Fred Perry uses it. Um, yeah, they use. These aren't very complicated. Um, it's just a different shape drawing. Like, if you use the Eclipse tool, and um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And um, it's pretty simple. And like, if you type in Laurel's logo design, uh, you can find it around here, and you can just get some inspiration out of here. Um, use it a lot in Ro uh, Romans. Etc. Yeah, and um, that's it really. These are more complicated, but um, this is just a basic tutorial how to create these laurels. And um, yeah, I'll, and then if you want a more advanced laurels tutorial, please let me know. Okay, so we just want to open up a new file. So just a 1920 by 1080. So we started off with this eclipse here. And then we went to this. Wait, we went to this. And then 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 we gradually went to this and that. And it's basically how you do it. So I'm going to sh show you how to do this. So what you want to do is get your Pathfinder window open. If I can actually find it. And um, we're going to need this to... Um, I think it's in Intersect intersect whatever it is so um i want my fill uh, let's say let's i just like that green color and we want the uh blend mode to multiply multiply yeah and you want to hold shift if you don't hold shift you get a dodgy shape like this so you just want to hold shift to keep it proportion and um yeah that's it and then what you want to do is hold option so you want to click V for the um, tool and then hold option and then drag it around here uh, I did have this on multiply I did change it to multiply and we have this middle shape here this is the shape we want to intersect and just want to keep that about here about that much oh yeah by the way we don't want a stroke on here uh, that's right. Um, I think we will just want this a bit in more. This going to the right a bit more. Uh, that's too much. That's pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this shape here. And then we want to hold option. Um, and um, drag this out. And then what you want to do is click in intersect, which basically gets out this um, middle middle thing here, and just click this, and we have our well right or left le laurel laurel here, and click that back onto the normal, and then what you want to do is flip it on its side like so. And then what you want to do is click option and then you want to reflect this so you want to go to edit where is it edit no object transform you want to reflect vertical 90 degrees and uh think all right so we want these a bit more closer that's pretty that's pretty cool and then we have our Laurel option and then you just want to shrink it down its size so we can basically okay that's too much <laughs> and then what you want to do um, click option when I hold it there and then click command D and you have our Laurel right down here 
So, um, and then what you want to do is duplicate that whole option. We have our two Laurel designs, which we could use for later. But what you want to do is just put a, make it look like much more of a Laurel. So, want to get a rectangle tool, and you want you just want to experiment with this. I think that is premature, right? Is that okay? Let's wait for it. Um, yeah, we just want to shrink that down a bit more. Um, think that is okay. So, what you meant to do? No. Line center. And then. Okay, doesn't matter about that. And we just wanna shrink it down a bit more. A bit more. And um, we have our uh, Laurel here. Or maybe we could do with two more around here. Yeah, could do. And um, we want to do. Well, I think we could use our rotation tool for this. Do it by 45. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, about 20. Okay, just click OK. Oops. Wait. Okay, that's, that's bless. <laughs> and then you want to. Hold option again, like so. Wanna go object transform, reflect, click OK. But well you don't wanna click off it otherwise you're just stuck. <laughs> and we have our two laurels here, which is pretty perfect. So we could do we could use this in a logo if we wanted to. But um yeah okay so we could we're gonna start using these actually we could use these so hold option and then we could do okay so my recording stops but um anyway what well, as I was saying we're gonna we're gonna make it into a circle so we're gonna put it into ellipse like something like this but we're gonna add the stem to it if you wanted to um I wanna see what it looks like with the stem so what you want to do is just flip it on its side uh, part there and then you want to group it by clicking command G so it's in a group then what you want to do you want to use an arc on this you want to click the preview and then we will we'll see arc upper ok that's not right um, let's see what we can do here. Arc. Let, we just want to experiment. No, it's just arc. <laughs> yeah, like that. We can just um, and then after you've done that, you want to expand expand appearance. So I I just type that in, and then just put it back to its normal size, and um. I think I might just do the arc again. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it again. I think I don't need that. I don't even know why I've used it. Anyway, 
Yeah, what was it saying? Okay, Command G to group it. Arc Preview. Okay, that's good, that's good. I could just do this. Make it into a full circle like that. And then expand appearance. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. What do you say? Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna use this. Oh wait, here. Yeah. And then option. And then you wanna reflect object transform reflect. That has made an ellipse by itself, really. It's perfect. Wait a second, what? I just want to move this away. I've already got a vector of that, so I'm going to delete this. Okay, so I don't really like these uh, things here. So I'm just gonna add a white because I've. Un wait, could I? No, no, no. No, I can't do that. There you go. Simple. You can't even see that there's something in there and then we can add our ellipse some kind of ellipse here so with our colour oh wow Yeah, you could do ab ab by adding an ellipse, and then you could do some like. Okay, so like we can use some text here. With our color, and then we could use an uh, onyx. Make this a bit larger. Something like that. Okay, I don't really like that font. Let's have a look at my font book. Or we could just add something like simple. Let's let's see. Oh yeah, Dolly doesn't work. Some of the, this is an EA font. I actually pretty like that. Yeah, that's some kind of idea what you could use. Right, let's go. Baron Mixer. We could use a Baron, I think. Yeah, that's clean. Um, yeah, that that's an idea you could do. Sum up for logos, and then we just wanna shrink that down. That's a pretty nice logo there I made. And um, okay, now we want the leaf. Wait, oh god, laurels. Laurels, yeah, that's it. I just want to put that there so I remember. Um, okay, so we want to get these two laurels. Hold up, uh, option. And we want one facing down. And we want to create a nice ellipse. So, uh, yeah, we want to rotate this 180. Is it 180? 
Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, it's, you hold option. And then you want to flip this 180. Yeah, that's good. Good to go. And then, to make it into a circle, you want to hold option with the rotate tool. Or just click R to bring it up. And then, uh, maybe 20. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, 20. And then click Command D. And we have our beautiful logo. Beautiful. Maybe. Get a shape from here. Maybe not. <laughs> then I'm gonna enlarge a bit something like that or you could just put text right inside it whatever you want to do just keep it simple I say that is pretty pretty nice um, I've pretty much covered most of the stuff on Laurel's um, on this tutorial and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys um, yeah that's it really um, could do with some other lo logo designs like with this let's try and make it more complex and just I was gonna end this tutorial as well got carried away so you want the fill white and then right in the center something like this to make it more complex yeah something like that and then we could just add random lines to it hold option and then rotate Is it 90? Yeah. 90. There you go, somewhere like that. <laughs> somewhere like that. And then just put initials down. But anyway, that's the tutorial guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm not gonna go any further because I'm getting carried away with Laurels, but um yeah that's pretty much how you get um laurels like this and it's pretty simple man um you don't peeps people tend to use a pe pen tool but you don't use a pen tool so um yeah it's pretty simple how to make laurels like this so any more tutorials comment down below like the video and subscribe <laughs>